Good day, and today let's discuss the stages of infection, and of course the chain of infection of the diseases. Let's talk about first stages of infection. Number one, it is incubation. Number two, the prodromal stage. Number three, it is the illness stage. And number four, we have here the convalescence stage. Now, the incubation stage it is the period starting from the entry of the pathogen until the appearance of the first sign. For example, chickenpox. It takes two to three weeks of incubation. For a common cold, we have one up to two days of incubation. Influenza takes one to three days of incubation and 15 to 18 days for mumps. Yun yung beke sa Tagalog. Now let's have the prodromal stage. This stage uh, starts from the onset of the non-specific signs and symptoms such as fever. So, kung magkakasakit ka, ito yung uh, sign or in Tagalog, symptomas. Okay? Number three, we have the illness stage. Illness stage begins when more specific signs and symptoms appear. For example, common cold is characterized by sore throat. Sinus congestion rhinitis, and mumps, manifested by ear, ache, high fever, and salivary gland swelling. This is the time that you almost feel and the uh, symptoms are very evident. When we said symptoms, yung parang symptoms ay uh, talagang ito ay nararamdaman natin na talagang nandiyan na siya hindi mo na siya pwedeng ibaliwalain or hindi mo na siya kayang indahin so you feel like it is very manifested at talagang malala yung sakit na nararamdaman mo hindi siya basta simpleng sore throat lang dahil talagang uh, lalagnatin ka. So, number four, we have the convalescence stage. Last stage of infection is an interval when acute symptoms of infection disappear. The length of recovery depends on the severity of infection and the sick person's general state of health. Recovery may uh, take several days to uh, months. So this time, you feel like you are recovering from these kind of illnesses enter in your body. So this is the time wherein you cope up or you overcome the kind of infection there inside your body. So that's it, the stages of infection. Now let's talk about the chain of infection. This is now the continuation of the topic stages of infection. Let's have the chain of infection. So this is almost six. Okay, we have number one, pathogen. Number two, reservoir. Number three, portal of exit. 
Number four, mode of transmission. Number five, we have portal of entry. And number six, susceptible host. So let's talk about number one. Una sa lahat, pathogen. When we said pathogen, it is an organism with the ability to cause diseases. So there's a lot of diseases in our planet. It might cause of bacteria or sometimes virus. So number two, we have reservoir. It is a place within which microorganisms can thrive and reproduce. For example, human body, animals, and objects such as water, tabletops, and doorknob. These following objects can be the reservoir. Sa Tagalog, para siyang lagayan. Sometimes, human body can be a reservoir or lagayan because they can uh, stay there for such a period of time wherein these viruses or bacteria can multiply, especially also animals and again, uh, objects. In our time, as we experience COVID-19 pandemic, it is very easy to identify what are the causes of these diseases. We have viruses because COVID-19 is a coronavirus variant of a simple flu or colds and it became very resistant to any weather condition or any kind of uh, medicine. It has a very strong kind of virus in our time. Imagine these viruses can stay out of the reservoir or a human body or animals and they can stay sometimes in some objects like water, tabletops, and doorknobs for such a long time, longer than a 24 hours. So that is how dangerous this COVID-19 virus we have. Having this kind of virus in our time, it is again mutating. Nag-mutate din ito. Ibig sabihin, once other virus can survive, they will reproduce again for this more resistant uh, kind of virus. Kung lumakas tong virus na to, nung yung mga virus na yun na nakatagal sa uri ng klima or sa uh, uri ng mga nadapuan niyang objects or even human body and animals, if they became stronger, then they are going to mutate and then they are going to reproduce. So that's how dangerous COVID-19 we have. So let's discuss number three, the portal of exit. Uh, portal of exit provides a way for a microorganism to leave the reservoir. So when time comes, this um, portal of exit is where they are going to release. These are the uh, uh, opening wherein they can infect others. Like for example, you were going to sneeze or alimbawa kung tayo ay uubor babahing or bab or hahatching no when uh, we release these viruses inside our body if the reservoir is the human then this virus will be scattered kakalat yan at makakahawa sa iba so these are the portal of exit 
and sometimes for example these people were dead or these animals uh, just to remind you hindi lang naman ito ano ah, hindi lang naman ito for human it can be for uh, animals we have also the mode of transmission the mode of uh, transmission by which the organism moves from one host to another it can be by contact droplet or airborne foodborne or waterborne we also have vector borne and usually insect so these are the bacteria or virus or diseases that can be uh, transferred to other person or to other animals can be uh, by contact droplet or airborne like that foodborne etc etc okay number five second to the last we have portal of entry an opening allowing the microorganism to enter the host this includes body orifices mucous membranes or breaks in the skin so this is where they are going to enter in our body so when we said portal against an opening or a door wherein they can get into our body so we have our nose we have our mouth we also have uh, our ears especially in our eyes so when they get into it then they can again reproduce themselves and they are going to uh, affect our health so when they stay there they will be going to multiply themselves and if they occupy the host they are going to release again they will find another portal of exit if the people is or the person is dead then it's time to uh, look for another victim so uh, that is how uh, difficult we have this kind of viruses so technically after they have diagnosed the uh, patient having COVID-19 immediately they are going to cremate it in Tagalog, susunugin nila yung labi or yung bangkay so that this virus will never um, infect others so binabalot sila dun sa parang lagayan na tinatawag nilang cadaver yung cadaver is itong container na may zipper okay, is a zipper yun if uh, this dead body start to decay uh, if those body inside the cadaver nasa loob ng uh, container na may zipper okay, iba iba kulay nun no? they are not going to scattered in the air or in any uh, person or host and the last number six we have susceptible host a person who cannot resist a microorganism invading the body due to immunity of physical resistance to overcome the invasion by the pathogenic microorganism so uh, meaning to say these are the people or person that can be easily affected by this kind of diseases when we said invading the body due to immunity of physical resistance it means if your body is too weak and they can easily invade the host or the body or the person this is what they call susceptible host sila yung mga target ng mga virus or even bacteria so this is our topic for today and thank you. I hope you learned something from this discussion.